What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video. I might be a little late to this, but chat, GPT, AI, robotic, robots, crazy stuff this world has going on. I know for a fact all of you obviously know what that is by now. Today, I'm letting a robot pick out what fish I buy from my 300 gallon saltwater tank. Just the other day, we bought 41 corals. As you can see, all the corals are looking absolutely amazing. Both rocks are full of light. But we don't have many fish in here. We have the fox face. We have, of course, our gem tang, our most expensive prize possession right there. Some clownfish in the back and a couple more little fish spread out throughout the tank. What I'm trying to get to here is we need more fish. But this isn't just any other ordinary fish shopping video. We're letting a robot. I said it. A robot pick out what fish we buy. ChatGPT brought me here today. We're about to ask ChatGPT what fish we should get now. What fish should we buy for my salt water tank? ChatGPT, such a crazy thing this world has for us nowadays, huh? What a world we live in. Oh, 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 wow, holy smokes. Holy, all right, it's going, it's going. Dude, this thing is, look at this thing, giving me in how many different fish I could buy. <laughs> look at this. Dude. I can't believe what I just witnessed. Luke, look at how much detail it just gave us. Yeah. When considering fish for your saltwater aquarium, there are several factors to keep in mind, including the tank size, water parameters, compatibility, and the experience level of the aquarist. Me. Uh, without specific information about your tank setup, blah, 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 right? It says clownfish. Tommy, what is a royal garama? I bet you've seen them before. They're Bright purple, purple and front, yellow. And yellow on the back. Firefish. You have that here. Ready to go. They're already done with QT. These cylinder and active fish add movement to your tank. They are peaceful and can be kept in small groups. Next one is a blue tang. It'd be a lot of quarantining through Tommy, but the blue tang might be a decision to make later on. Chat CPT offered that one. Gobies, dotty backs, wrasses, blennies. They gave some great, great options for us here. And I think he actually has a couple of those options. So I'm gonna say thank you so much, Bibby Gill. You're welcome. If you have any more questions or further assistance, feel free to ask. Happy fish keeping. It says happy fish keeping. Look who it is. Long time no see. Long it's been time a, no it's see. It's been a while since we made a video with Luke. But if you're an OG and you've been watching for many, many years, you know my buddy Luke here. Um, we're here to get some fish. And as you saw just a second ago, ChatGPT gave us the answers that we wanted to hear. Look at right there. That is the firefish. That's exactly what ChatGPT told us to buy. Robot told me to buy you, bud. And I'm gonna buy you and hopefully some brothers and sisters that are, that are in there too. I don't know for sure though. This is mine. I already bought this one. Uh, the blue jawed trigger. I just can't pick him up because, uh, yeah, he's still getting quarantines as you can see. But hopefully within the next week or two, I'll have him. A lot of little colorful fish in there. Just got a puffer fish in our last video while we were here. We bought 41 corals out of this Hub. Yeah, I said it. If you watch the video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We bought 41 corals out of this right here. Put them on the aquarium, and the aquarium looks so much better now. As you saw before we were left. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh, we have a hawkfish. These are just such pretty creatures. Salt water provides so much more color than fresh water. I feel like everyone starts with fresh, and then as you get more into fish keeping, salt water comes and it's just game over. Your bank account's drained. That right there might be the biggest mandarin goby I've ever seen. Now ignore the wrasse. That's another thing Chad GPT told us to get that wrasse as well. We can't get this wrasse, unfortunately, Tommy said, because it will mess with my inverts and other fish. He's a jerk. Right. So unfortunately not this wrasse. Um, you're a <laughs> He's beautiful, but he's just not the nicest. So we can't get a wrasse, but that mandarin goby in the back, we already have one of those, and that is about a quarter of the size of that one. That's a hoss. Oh my gosh. I didn't even know he had these. Seahorse. A literal seahorse. Oh my gosh. You know what's crazy? I would so get these, but I feel like they're so delicate. They're like little gentle things, you know, anything goes wrong, they're just, you know, they probably just die immediately. Tommy Shop does look cool though, and there's a good selection. ChatGPT gave us our answers. Let's get these fish. Well, good news, we got some pirate fish. We got something real similar too that I think you'd really like. Can I show you that? Yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it. <laughs> what in the heck is that thing? Those are bar gobies. Bar goby. And I'm pretty sure that's a pair. They're eating. 
so you get a much closer shot of these fish. Let's put some food in there and watch them go crazy. Look at the colors on those things, Tommy. Uh-huh. My goodness. That is amazing, and I love how they eat. They're very like, boom, boom, boom. When you see them in most stores, they're pale. So that's how they look when they first come in. But we've had these for, I think, seven or eight weeks now. And so you're starting to see the colors. This is nothing compared to six months in your tank. Oh, good. Stunning fish. Look at that beautiful trigger just kind of watching us. I wish I could net you. Oh. Oh. Got him. While Tommy puts this fish into the bag, if you have not subscribed yet, go down below, click the subscribe button, turn the bell on so you don't miss any future videos. And just like that, our first fish is all bagged up. Once these corals right here are ready and out of quarantine, I might have to bump into the SPS game. What do you think, Tommy? Uh, yeah, I think your tank. It's we're almost gonna, ready to go. We're gonna have to move a couple corals, I think. Yeah. Because where your leather is, it's prime spot for an acro colony. Stay tuned for that one putting the shades on. Here we go, netting the second fish. So if you get some sun, yeah, you gotta take some video of these like in natural sunlight. Oh, as if the sun comes through the window into my tank. Yeah, or just, you know, on your way home. Oh, or that. <laughs> I wasn't sure where we were going with that. <laughs> wow. We've got both bar gobies. Now let's get what our robot told us to get, the firefish. Tommy said for a firefish, we don't need no net. Oh, oh my gosh, the colors on that fish are beautiful. Like the magenta on I the love, head. I love the purple eye. You're, you're a pro or something, huh? We did it, man. Chat GPT picked out a fish for us. Mm -hmm. Is that not incredible? Picked out two fish for you, right? Two fish, it's nuts. So I know Chat GPT didn't pick this one for you, but this is too cool for AI to even know about. Oh! These are Monet cowries. And you know wow. like the surfer dude necklace? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, what's the, is that? These are actually living. Mm -hmm. If you pop one off the rock and look inside. Wow, there it is. You can see inside of it. So the crazy wow. thing, that's its mantle. So you know how like snails on the inside of the shell, it's super shiny and yeah. smooth? The reason why these shells are super shiny and smooth is the mantle goes all the way up to the top. That's how they disguise themselves. Oh. Mm -hmm. Great thing about that, you never have to worry about you know introducing a hydroid or aptasia or some pest into your tank with these because they're self-cleaning. Wow, they clean themselves out. Tommy, what do you think? Should I come back here more often and ask the robot what we should get? I think you should come whenever you want, Paul. <laughs> ask, ask whoever you want. You Look at get. that. <laughs> So, I felt like it was only right. We're such The doors open up like a butterfly. I rented a McLaren just for this video. I figured, you know, robot, AI, jet, GPT, futuristic, futuristic, blue. Should I keep going? No. McLarens are fun. I could tell you that. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> You're about to go for a ride, fish, let me tell you. That's so cool. You ready? We need to go. <laughs> we need to get out of here, dude. One, two. Acclimate snails. I think we just dropped those in. I think we should acclimate them. <laughs> Say a little bobber. Last but not least, our fourth bag goes in. Hi, welcome back. It's time to put our fish in. I should probably stop, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna stop doing that one. All right, anyway, we got a little bowl here, see through bowl. This will make it cool when you get our fish. Numero uno. Come on, buddy. Almost out. There you go. He said these guys like to jump. They're crazy. And you put them in a bowl, Paul. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Holy smokes. Let's go. See you later, buddy. Oh, I love hitting new fish. It's my favorite. It's my favorite thing on planet Earth. I love it. More motion, more movement. The corals are gonna grow within the next couple months. This tank is just getting better and better as time goes on. Look at Tommy the puffer fish. He's waiting for me to put some food in there. I'm sorry, you already got a big enough stomach. See you later, buddy. Blue little bubble. They're gonna meet each other. There they go. They just start going at it. Tommy said they might be dancing in there, right? Yeah, they could be. Doing a little dancey dance, you know what I'm saying? What? Should I hit like a... 
perfect for this video, you know what I'm saying? They are best friends. We got these two cool little critters here. Should be on a necklace, but they're actually going back into the wild here. The wild to them is my fish tank. I had to actually put these down on a rock. All right, that one's good. Can I get a reach all the way down? Oh, wow. Paul, you got long arms. Something else is long. Now we got our last fish, and this is called a firefish. Oh wow, that is such a pretty fish. I'm incredibly stoked to have this guy a part of the aquarium. And we have avoided using nets this entire video. Here we go. Ready? Beautiful addition to the aquarium. That little fire fish. Love that. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. That right there might be my new favorite fish in the aquarium. Dude, that thing is pretty freaking cool. That is that is cool. I love the gem tang. The gem tang is just different breed. Look at that thing. They're gonna be like, hey, I love the snail is upside down, Paul. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mexican turbo snail needs a little flipping. Let me get him. These snails tend to flip over a lot. They're getting big though. You just gotta make sure you flip them back over. Look at them, dude. You need like a duo name for those so two. So sick. Yeah, we need a duo name. Comment down below not only names for our new fish, but as well as your favorite fish that's inside this aquarium. I'm curious to know. I mean, we got everything. Puffer fish, our little blue and green fish, fox face, Nemo's clownfish. So many different fish inside this. We even have coral banded shrimp and blood shrimp in here. And even have these beautiful, beautiful chalk bass in here as well. Comment down below, what's your favorite? Let's see if our fish wanna eat already. One cube, pop it out. Two cube, get some water, mix it up, let it defrost. You guys all hungry? Look, they're waiting for me to put it in. Oh, oh, you guys know what the cup looks like, huh? <laughs> Boom. Spins it around and throws it everywhere. Easiest way to feed your tank is just put it right in front of the wave maker. Oh, they're eating already. Look at them. The twins are eating. Puffer is chowing away. Fox face going at it. That was so sick. Isn't that crazy, bro? Everything's eating already. Yeah. Just like that, it's been like 30 minutes. We're here. Inside the fish building, where the video is coming to an end, unfortunately. Thank you to technology these days, chat GPT, AI, robot. It picked us out a fish for our aquarium today. And if you like this video, make sure to smash the like button. If it hits 30,000 likes, we're gonna go do this again on an even bigger scale for a fish to go into the 5,500 gallon aquarium. So smash that dang like button down below, and I'll see you right back here in the very next video. Peace!